What up guys, it's Captain Thrones Production 72 and today's video is Figure Friday episode 27. So it's old Han Solo from 2015 and before I get back into to this, this is the first time in probably a month or so I've actually brought a regularly scheduled video. Things have been all over the place, I'm not doing my Thursday videos or the Tuesday one. So not Thursday, Tuesday and Friday are my usual promised upload days and I've not fulfilled that. Just due to the laziness of the Christmas holidays, I was spoiled and just things that got in the way. But yeah, things should be back to normal going forth. Um, I plan to bring some more reviews, there'll be a review on the Tatooine Battle Pack and Han Solo Speedo. And if I can try and find a way to accommodate it, I'll also do one on the 2018 Sandcrawler. But yeah, so, Figure Friday will be continuing. Now, I have planned up to 70 episodes, believe it or not. And that's just with the figs I had before Christmas. So, every fig in my collection will be getting an episode. So, this episode potentially go very far with the episodes. Um, But yeah, so I could see us up to 80 episodes in this series. But yeah, so they're all planned. They're not just random. For instance, after, ha if you've not watched this episode before. So, today, episode 27 is the Old Man Han Solo. Next week, hopefully, episode 28 will be the Ugnaught from 2016. Episode 29 will be the First Order Flame Trooper. Episode 30 will be Bosk from the Bounty Hunter Battle Pack. Uh, episode 31 will be the Death Star Trooper from 2016. Episode 32, 32 will be R2-D2 from 1999. And episode 33 will be Chewbacca from 2014. Those are just the rest on the list. Of this one piece of paper anyway but yeah I'm gonna make a further list and add all the new figures into it but yeah that'll be something I have to do but yeah I'll just get to this many figs so as far as I know he is in quite a few sets Um, he's in the 2015 Morium Falcon that's as it I got him in Um, I'm pretty sure I don't know if it's the same version but he's in the UCS Morium Falcon and I want to say Battle on Taco Dana, but at the same time I don't. I don't think he's in that set. I know he's in that Raftor Escape as well, but yeah, I'm not 100% sure on what set it is, guys, and I don't know much about the Force Awakens sets, because I don't buy them. The only sets I own from the Force Awakens are anything that has the First Order on it, those, like, those Battle Packs, and the one in Falcon, I think that's it. I'm just looking through my shelves here. Uh, yeah, that's it. Well, let's get started. So, it is, looks, well, it, <laughs> what am I saying? It looks, does not look like a lot like Han Solo, to be honest. I don't like the young Han Solo. I'm going to see if I have a figure here I can compare them to. Just, you know, for reference. Like, it doesn't look like a typical Han Solo minifigure. Now, this minifigure is an older one, the one I'm about to show you. If I can... See him there it is, I've got my big bag of figs out. <laughs> um just minding them. Like any will do, but yeah. <laughs> Bear with me a moment. Ah, here we go. So the figure that you see on the right, the older one, from 2007, is what probably most people would say is a Lego Han Solo, but that they just don't look like the same character. Obviously in the movie they do look a little similar, but yeah. I just wanted to show you guys that. But yeah, we have the character back. I'm just um, moving over one there. In fact, moving a couple bit closer. So yeah, I'm just going to get into the details. We're already four minutes in an episode. And most episodes I have done probably last that. <laughs> so if you guys like the long episodes, this is one of those. But yeah, so he has the jacket. The brown jacket, as you can see. Has some different types of pockets. As you can see on the left, he has one type. And on the right, he has another. He has sort of a ragged shirt, like, you know, does it sort of, the collar peers over the jacket. The jacket has no collar. And it's got the brown arms, which is printing on the shirt. You can see his chest. On the back, it has just that square that he has with the thing, with the lines. It is a leather jacket, I believe. The hair is just that grey hair. As you know, they don't um, use this hair piece over here anymore for the hand Solo minifigs. Get the focus. They use another piece um, that looks like this now. Where is it? Yeah. They use a piece that looks a lot like this now. 
yeah, this is the exact piece they've been using on the Young Han Solo minifigures. As far as I know, this minifigure hasn't had any redesigns, but yeah. The face is double-sided. You have this sort of stern expression, and if I twist around the face, he has that sort of smiling face. I like to find that this is the face he uses in The Force Awakens. Spoiler alert, when he fires Chewbacca's bowcaster, and he's like, I like this thing. <laughs> yeah. The trousers are different as well, usually the gun holster, I... I'm sorry, no, I'm wrong, the gun holster is on the side. Usually the belt doesn't hang down, I was a bit confused there, I thought that this was on the other side. Um, no foot printing, uh, no print, back print on the legs, there doesn't usually tend to be. But yeah, so overall, whether or not this is a good minifig depends on why you're a fan of The Force Awakens. It's an okay movie, but... If you haven't seen the movie, um, I'm not gonna expo I'm not gonna do any more spoilers. But yeah, I'm not going. I'm not getting any any film theory stuff or whatever. Um, but yeah, this many figures by the way comes in a lot of expensive sets, but you probably get them on eBay pretty cheap. I really only look up the prices or the values or whatever of older many figs. For instance, I believe when I done the episode on this guy a few months back, um. I looked up the price guide and stuff like that. And for the older figs, I usually tend to leave the set list and stuff like that. This minifigure I won't because he's a new fig, but I just tend to do that for the classic figs. But yeah. Well, six minutes, probably coming up. Yeah, it's coming up to seven. The longest episode I've done in a while. But yeah, so that's episode 27. So, like I said, episode 28 is the Ugnaught from 2016, which will be fun. Really unique minifig, but yeah. Um, so, and like I said, episode 33 is going to be back in 2014. I might as well just read some of the next episodes. Come. Episode 34 is going to be Sabine Rem. Episode 35, Princess Leia. Yoda is 36. 37, Boba Fett. 38 is a Scarif Trooper. 39 is Forlom. And 40 is um, Christmas Chewbacca. So, you guys know what you're getting for the next 12 episodes. This is, well, technically 13, but this is the third. Yeah, after this, you've, I'll give you the list for the next 12 episodes, but yeah. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos, and bye.